Hey guys, by now you've probably heard of solid state drives. You may have seen them when shopping for computers or maybe just read about them or you might even own them. But I'm going to talk to you about what exactly is the difference between a solid state drive and a hard drive. There are advantages to both and if you are trying to decide which type to get for your computer, I'm going to help you decide. So basically solid state drives use what's called flash memory. There are no moving parts in a solid state drive. This is different from a hard drive where you have different metal platters that are magnetized and you have an arm that actually reads from the hard drive and this moves back and forth. So that means that solid state drives are way less prone to failure. Theoretically, they cannot fail. Whereas hard drives over time, because they're mechanical, they're just going to wear out and they will fail eventually. Even sitting on a desk for years without even being touched, a hard drive can still fail because they have to be booted up every once in a while. That problem does not happen with solid state drives, so that's probably one of their biggest advantages. So in terms of reliability, solid state drives win out 100%. Now there is one thing to keep in mind about solid state drives. The cells of the flash memory can only be written to a certain number of times. So, the longer you use a solid state drive, the slower it will become. That's not necessarily a tragic thing because the software in the hard drive will disable those cells so you're not going to lose any data from them. It'll stop those cells from being used. But that will mean that it will slow down over time. So if you're writing a lot of files to your solid state drive very quickly or you're going to be transferring a lot of files, it's probably best to not store those kinds of files on your solid state drive. A hard drive is better for really dynamic files that you're going to be moving a lot. Now let's talk about performance. In general, a solid state drive will outperform a hard drive. This is because the solid state drive doesn't have to have the arm that the hard drive has to search for the data. It's kind of all in one place that it can just read instantaneously. So even the cheapest solid state drives will probably be at the same performance level as a 10,000 RPM hard drive. And the higher end solid state drives will just blow any hard drive completely out of the water. Alright, the next thing to talk about is capacity. Solid state drives right now are a lot smaller than hard drives. I think maybe right now the highest capacity solid state drive you can get is probably around a terabyte without spending several thousands of dollars. Hard drives on the other hand, you can easily get one three terabytes for not even a couple hundred dollars. So if you need a lot of storage, you definitely need a hard drive. Now the last thing is price. Solid state drives are more expensive, and out of that you get reliability and speed mostly. Hard drives are cheaper per gigabyte, and they can hold a lot, but they do fail. A lot of people, like me even, what they'll do is they'll buy both for their computer. They'll buy maybe a small, high-performance solid state drive to boot up your operating system, and then use a large hard drive to store all your files on. It's pretty much the best of both worlds. I hope this video helps you decide what type of hard drive you need to get, or maybe even both, like I like to do. So be sure to leave a comment. Do you already have a solid state drive? What is your computer configuration right now? Are you looking to buy a new computer with a solid state drive in it? Also like the video and follow me on Twitter and on Facebook because you'll get a lot more information from me on there. And subscribe to my channel because I make weekly videos. And finally, thanks for watching.